Why have I played my wild card? Well, Hi, I'm Midnight Mule. Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. In this video, I'm going to look at game week two and I'll look at a decision that I made last week that I explained in the video, see how that turned out. And then I'm going to look at game week three. I have played my wild card. At the moment, it's looking like it may have been a dodgy decision. I'll explain why I played it, but I know before a ball's kicked tomorrow whether or not it was a good decision from my viewpoint. Something I just explained first about the way I view things when it comes to the FPL. So I'm aiming to finish in the top two and a half percent. So the way I view things, we've got 11 players that are going to play each week, but we've got a captain. So one of the scores is doubled. So we've got 12 players. And the way I like to reckon things is we've got 12 players. And if they all score five points each on average over 38 weeks, get 2,280 points. Now that isn't going to win the whole thing, but I think that should get you up in the top two and a half percent, definitely the top five percent. So aiming for five points per week per player, that's fine. And I kind of do it in chunks. So I'll show you that here now. So this is my team from last week. I had a five, two, three. So I've got six at the back. So six at the back, I want to be getting 30 points. And if I do, then they've done their job. The two in the middle need to get 10, the three at the front need to get 15 between them. So the six at the back, we had Edison with six, Trent with three, Cancelo 11, Robson two, James seven, Perisic four. So if we add those together, we've got so that 18, 20, 26, 30, that's 33. So the back six as a unit got the 30 points. I'm happy they've done their job. The two in the middle, Martinelli and Saka, eight and two, they got 10 points. The goal was 10 points. They did their job, not mad at any of them. The front three, Darwin minus two, Alan 10, Jez <laughs> Jesus 19. So they got 27. The target was 15. So that's fine. All three units hit their targets. The fact that Darwin got sent off, it doesn't matter. I'm hitting my five points per player on average actually I think I got 70 points in total that week last week so that's fine um, now I was hoping to keep this same team together certainly up to the uh, the World Cup Darwin getting sent off that means I have to make some changes but I'll explain that in a minute but first I want to explain a decision last week last week you may remember on the bench my options were uh, I had Ward, Neto, Bailey and Andreas now Last week I was trying to decide out of Perisic, Neto and Bailey who to play. I wanted to play Perisic, but the sites like Fancy Football Scout and Fancy Football Hub, they both had Neto and Bailey both scoring more than Perisic. So for me to put Perisic up, I'd have to be going against them and the algorithms they've got behind them. On top of that, there's many FPL YouTubers I watch, and I'll just show you a couple now. These are screenshots from last week. So this first one is FPL mate. If you're watching me, I'm sure you know FPL mate because he's got a massive following. Uh, just to say something nice, nice about him. I find that he does some of the most insightful suggestions of people to get. So for example, last year, he was the first one I said about, he was the first one I remember hearing saying about getting eight Nori just before he went off really good. So FPL mate certainly gives some very good advice. What he's got on the screen here is his bench list and he's rating from highest to lowest who he suggests should be on your bench. These are likely people you may have that you're thinking of benching. And so the higher up in the list, you should be playing them or else they're going to be higher on your bench. So he had Neto in his sixth position, Bailey in 11th and Perisic was 17th on his bench. So he was agreeing with those other two sites that were giving out predicted scores. Perisic was the worst choice. FPL Raptor, he's great. After the streaming ends, he just sits there and natters for 20, 30 minutes about anything apart from football. So he's very interesting. He's got the same deal going on here. He had Neto in fourth, uh, Bailey in 10th and Perisic in 19th. So the point I'm making here is other experts will say their opinion. You can look on sites that predict scores. They give their opinion. 
but then you might disagree with them. If you disagree with them, what should you do? What I found I should do, this is from experience from the three years I've been playing this, is I need to go with what I think. Listen to what they're saying. Consider, do I agree that's enough weight? And then do what I want to do. But the real value in these sites, uh, the other YouTubers and the sites that give predicted scores is when you're unsure what to do. You've got two or three players or if I've got two or three players and I don't know which one I should be playing, I will check them, see what their opinions are. And if it's really split evenly, then I will totally go with their suggestions. But if I'm thinking one way or the other, then I'll go with what I want to. And if I get it wrong, that's absolutely fine. And I can guarantee that FPL Raptor and FPL Mate would both say you should go with what you want to go. They're just giving their opinion, but do what you want to do. And I would I would tend to say that, except for my series about the 5%, I'm saying do this. <laughs> so my 15 players, I've played the wild card. This is how I'm expecting the team's probably going to look tomorrow before deadline. That's Luis Diaz and Tony. They're in for Darwin and some meaningless midfield I don't care about. And also Lovio and Pearson. They're both playing most of the minutes in the games. However, that is not what my squad looks like at the moment. At the moment, my squad's a complete mess. I've also, I've got Antonian Luis Diaz, but I also have Patterson, Nico Williams, me, De Silva, Gross, and Kulaseski, and none of those last six that I mentioned I intend to have next week. So why did I play my wild card? The reason is Liverpool haven't kept a clean sheet yet, and on Monday night after that happened, and I had to get rid of Darren anyway, I thought it was highly likely that Robertson and possibly Trent would go down in value. I could also see Saka was going down in value, and I didn't want to be losing all that money. And I'd already decided my team how it was is roughly what I want anyway up to the World Cup. So I couldn't see a week where I would want to play my World Cup to make lots of changes. So I thought I'd play it this week. And if I can sub those players out that look like they may lose value, put something else in, they can drop before deadline. And then I'll bring them back in and I'd have saved 0.1 for each one that did drop. However, at the time of recording, those three players I've mentioned haven't dropped. I've heard several YouTubers saying that they're not going to make their transfers until tomorrow morning. But if they do that, they're in danger of losing money. If they, if Robertson's currently at seven, he goes down to 6.9 and then they dump him, they're losing that money. If Neto goes from 5.5 .5 to 5.4 and then they dump him, they lose the money. Early on in the season is when the money moves the most because there are more engaged managers. So early on in the season, especially before the Champions League starts, I'm very comfortable making transfers straight away at the weekend on a Saturday, Sunday night, if I think there's good monetary reasons to do so. Once the Champions League starts, and especially further on in the season, I'll be doing transfers just before the deadline. There we go. I know I couldn't quite show you my team for tomorrow. I'm not being secretive. I don't know for sure what the final outcome is going to be. The predictor sites are saying that Tony's expected to score more points than Perisic by quite a bit, but I'm going to play Perisic anyway, unless I hear something different, even if we get early team news and he's on the bench. I It's just the way I want to play the game. All, all the time I've got Perisic or any of the big players, I want to capture all their points. But Tony will be number one on my bench. So knowing my luck, he'll get a huge score tomorrow. Please do like and subscribe and leave a comment if you can. And let me know what you're doing with your transfers and when you think you're going to play your wild card. And you think I'm crazy for playing the wild card this way. But remember, I'm not intending to change my team. So this was just at some point I was going to play my wild card and try and make a bit of money. I may have failed. I'll find out tomorrow how it went. Okay, thanks for listening. Bye.